Hey Wargamers, welcome back to the channel, Death From Above Wargaming. I'm Aaron. And I'm Kevin. And we're back again, another product review, this time from our good friend over at Polygon Masterworks. Guys, if you have not checked this out, you really should. Uh, this guy makes some really cool custom bits, you know, to really personalize up your Battletech collection. So we're going to show you all about that in a minute. Uh, Kevin. Hi. Anything you'd like to say? Uh, they're really cool. They are really cool. I know. I'm excited. So guys, stay tuned. We're going to dive right in. We've got bases. We've got nameplates. Uh, so it's coming right up. All right, guys, we are back. Check this stuff out. Uh, so thanks again to Polygon Masterworks for sending over this awesome finery for our Battletech collection. The swag so, pack. Swag pack. <laughs> I love, you always have the best uh, names for stuff. So this is their, um, basically their faction bases here that they offer. Mm -hmm. You can find these very easily on their website. Um, and they sent us one for all of the major factions here, which is pretty great. Um, spent a little bit of time painting, obviously, the Draconis Combine uh, here. Very cool. Lots of detail, um, as you can see here. Uh, and then also the Federated Suns. Um, really cool. So, you know, perfect base size. And, uh, you know, also all that, all that detail in there. Really cool. Um, I got my Free Worlds League here as well. You know, very simplistic. Uh, and then I just basically did a light dry brush here on, on our Capellans. Hate hey, those man. guys. You need to devote more time to the state. <laughs> and of course our Lyran Commonwealth. Um, so very cool stuff here. I mean, love the detail. Um, even just doing like these back to, I mean, it took like, it was almost instant, right? You, you basically base them in, in a, you know, one darker color. You could just you wash, wash them, them, get it, you know. Yeah, and then I dry brushed them and, and highlighted the edges, but very simple to do. Um, so very cool, very excited to have these. You know, one of the things I was thinking, Kev, is we could use these on the channel. We would just need to get a few more of each. As we sort track of our, our movement. Exactly, yeah. right. So, you know, that way we got some nice, I mean, this looks a lot better on the board than, than what we're using right now. So very cool. They would look very cool under the mechs. I don't think I really want to rebase all of mine right now. Yeah. But yeah, I think our movement trackers, that would look really cool. Yeah, I mean, and, and for decorative purposes, you know, as you know, I fun tackle my mech. I don't glue my mechs to my bases because well, you for are. opportunities just like this. Uh, so when I, you know, want to put something on the shelf, uh, you know, that looks, obviously that looks really cool, huh? So really nice detail. Um, love these, love these bases. Now these Very cool. next ones are really cool. Personalized nameplates where we got the mech variants on these. So he hooked us up we just gave him the variant name and he printed these out yeah and look at this on the back plate we got their names so my token wolverine pilot my lance commander is doc love that and then i'll show yours just so you can see a little variation we yeah, got, yeah. Well, i got my custom variant too i got the 6t3 zeus yeah whoa you know very cool so he can do not just standard variants, but you can do anything right. you want, yeah. um, which is pretty slick, right? So you don't have to do a variant, right? You can get yeah, you could right. You want to say you could say hello oh, world. Right. <laughs> <laughs> You're such a programmer. Uh, and there's blackout. That is my pilot because do you remember? Mm -hmm. We need one for slap shot and Poe Ding. Uh, they're, they're next up. <laughs> they're next up. But these are really cool. So I don't know if you can see this on camera, but these are just little. We have them fun tacked on, but this is what they look like, and you just kind of. Yeah, that's probably the best. So you can glue as well, but as Aaron likes to say, love it modular, never permanent. I'll probably magnetize it at some point. Yeah. Uh, love these nameplates, super really cool. Really cool. Yep. Um, and yeah, so we got. Uh, he hooked us up with a four pack. You can you can buy them in, in lance packs of four, or you can buy them individually. Um, painted up these. Obviously, I did the the interior of the Wolverines in red. Um, and then I did the, uh, the interior, the, the Zeus is in purple to kind of match the free world league colors, um, and versus the Tarian colors. So very cool there. Um, but this is, this is what we got. So really excited about these things, guys, you should definitely head over to the site, check it out. Uh, I think everything is really reasonably priced, a really nice 
sort of collector's touch uh, to your mechs. Um, but other than that, um, you know, thanks again to Polygon for sending this stuff over. Yep. We'll include a little link to his website in the in the de in the detail section. Yeah. So check that out. And guys, thanks again for watching. Hope you enjoyed this review. And stay tuned for more from Death from Above Wargaming.